So guys, hope you are doing great. Uh, as so many requested and so many questions frequently asked from my channel, I'm going to show you what are the settings you should be used for your laptop. So I recommend you to watch all the video without skipping any content. Let's get started. So I have categorized them under five settings: uh, battery settings, Dragon Center, Nvidia Control Panel, other softwares and apps, and other options. So when it comes to laptops, battery is the main power unit. So your laptop's performance will depend on the supply of your battery. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change battery settings for suitable for your workload. To change settings, go to taskbar, click on uh, this show hidden icon. Uh, in here we can see the battery icon, I click on the uh, battery icon and uh, choose the power options. In power options we have uh, balanced and ultimate performance. If you are using laptop for normal usage like watching movies, surfing YouTube, preparing presentations, stuff like that, recommend to use balanced option. If you are a gamer, what do you do is all time gaming, recommend to use ultimate performance. This will give you full potential of your battery. So uh, these are the basics, very basic settings you should use for the battery. Let's go to the next one. Dragon Center is designed by the MSI Corporation to ease the coordination between hardware and software. In here, I'm going to show you basics of Dragon Center. First, we have System Monitoring tab. This is basically shows you the main information of the system. As we can see here, uh, GPU usage and uh, CPU usage, fans, uh, speed and uh, memory, uh, our SSD, our hard drive and uh, stuff like that. In another tab, we have in here system turner. This is basically adjust the performance of your laptop. We have four options, Eco, Comfort, Sport and Turbo. Uh, Eco mode will give you power to perform day to day works like watching movies, browsing internet etc. Comfort mode and sports mode more powerful than Eco mode so you can perform normal functions with these modes. Turbo mode will give you full power of the laptop. If you are a gamer or always doing heavy work, turbo mode is made for you. Under fan speed, we have auto, basic, advanced and cooler boost. So, uh, fan speed will be go around 2000 to 4000 in auto and basic modes according to the heat of the laptop. In advanced mode, we can adjust our fan speed according to the heat. So, if you click on this uh, icon, so here in this bar shows you the temperature of your laptop. Vertical bar shows you the speed of the fan. 150% means maximum speed in cooler boost mode. It's around 6000 RPA. Less than 150 means below 6000 RPA. So we need to set 150% when laptop is starting to heat above normal temperature. So I set fan speed 35% from here and 74% uh, 74% uh, from here 100% from here or uh, and 100% from here 133% from here 150% from here so under these settings unlike cooler boost the fan noise will be reduced during normal temperature it's starting to go its maximum speed when temperature is around 67, 68 or beyond which is acceptable temperature under heavy workload like gaming you can set this both to GPU and CPU like here and make sure to save the preset 
I'm currently using this mod which is uh, convenient for me. Cooler Booster will give maximum speed of the fan once we select that preset. It will remain at the same speed until we disable or switch to an another preset. So it is louder than other options and it will always remain at maximum speed even your laptop going to freeze. In uh, MSI sRGB we have uh, normal filters for our screen standard anti blue gaming movie office and light so uh, you should be use this preset according to your requirement so uh, next we have uh, battery master uh, which is basically uh, adjust the battery settings of your laptop so uh, it has uh, mainly three options uh, best for mobility balance and best for battery i'm currently using uh, best for battery which is uh, as you can see here it will uh, charge until 60 percent then you stop it and uh, remains in 60 percent in balance mode uh, it will charge up to 80 percent and you stop and uh, uh, start to charge, charge uh, under 70% and uh, it will be stopped at 80%. Base for mobility means uh, it will always charge to 100% at all the time whenever your battery is uh, under 100 or it doesn't matter it will always charge to 100%. Then we have gaming mode. Uh, this is this is not the latest version of Dragon Center, so it will only supported selected games such like uh, like uh, Counter Strike, PUBG, Overwatch. As you can see, only these games were supported in gaming mode. As you can see here, under gaming mode. It will auto tune function for gaming. You are playing with the most suitable visual audio and lighting settings, bringing you the best gaming experience. So it is the thing what is just done from uh, gaming mode normally. Next we have voice wizard. Uh, actually, in this mode, it is basically designed for streamers mainly and for voice chat during gameplay as you can see here we have the selection which is the application we are using and in the right hand side we have the settings which is we can adjust manually as you can see here this is 0% game and 100% the volume if we increase this it will 100% game and voice will be reduced to 0 so this is the functions of voice research. Next we have mobile connection. In this case actually we have a app called MSI Dragon Center for your Android or iOS phones. You can download it from directly either Play Store or App Store. So as you can see here, this is the normal interface of the MSI Dragon Center mobile application. Once uh, we click the start button, it will ask for a QR code. So uh, I will point out it for the laptop's QR code and it will automatically connect to the Dragon Center with the laptop. So basically in first page in first page we have the system monitoring tab which is basically shows the details in our laptop such as fan speed and uh, GPU CPU core clocks and temperatures of the processors so next we have the 
system turner which uh, we can actually change from our mobile phone into the whatever mode we want as you can see here I change the shift from the my mobile phone phone and uh, my laptop is also change it for the sport mode comfort also we can change the volume of our laptop from this mobile application also we can change our profiles into our requirement so uh, keep in mind to connect to mobile application via QR code from your mobile phone you have to stay in the same network of Wi-Fi uh, of your laptop and your mobile phone if your laptop connected to Wi-Fi and you want a mobile network it couldn't be connected so make sure to stay in the same network when you are going to connect for the mobile application We have next NVIDIA control panel settings. Uh, in NVIDIA control panel, uh, we can see uh, three options. Adjust image settings with preview, manage 3D settings, set P6 configuration. So uh, you have to do is, uh, under manage 3D settings, we have global settings. Under this, you should select the high performance NVIDIA processor if you are always gamer. I'm uh, currently using this mode for gaming. So uh, actually these options are I set to default. I didn't change anything. And uh, that's the settings we should use for the NVIDIA control panel. We should update uh, directors and Microsoft Ready Suitable and Net Framework. Uh, these softwares will smooth your gameplay uh, and it will uh, support your FPS for like latest games. You can update all those softwares from Microsoft Store directly uh, simply by searching for their runtime updater it will update your softwares into the latest versions and finally uh, to give to get maximum output of your laptop always update your drivers and uh, give space to a laptop cool well and to get better performance while you're gaming always plugged in so if you have any suggestions if you have any further concerns please let us know in the comment section and uh, subscribe to our channel share this video if you like this and furthermore i have recently done a video about RTX on a GTX graphics card, uh, not in 1080 Ti or 1060 Ti or like that. I'm using my laptop GPU and I'm done it done it with uh, Neon Noya benchmark test, which was uh, created by CryNG. So we have the ability to see ray tracing software rendered ray tracing in real time in newly upcoming crisis remastered game so you can check my neon benchmark test from here
hope you all uh, enjoyed my video so see you in next video stay safe thank you